Sometimes you gotta let it roll, and sometimes you get enough fold. This is Blood Bowl. All right, Blood Bowl fans. Zay, Heretic of You, and we are back with some more Blood Bowl. And we're going to jump right into it. Undead Wood Elves. Wood Elves receiving, and kickoff result is get the ref. Um, but knowing these two teams are probably not going to use that bribe. Um, I I would. I would totally. But uh, these guys like to play nice and clean. This is going to be week three of Sylvan Bowl. 14. What else? Uh, start. They're going to activate the big guy, the tree. He's had a pretty good season so far. Uh, he activates. Does not take root. Two die block. Looks like he's going to burn their one and only reroll right off the bat. Turn one. So, um, yeah, that's. Uh, <laughs> I think he rolled double skull on that. Um, and uh, will that will he break armor? Ooh, he will. He does break armor uh, and gets it goes right after the mon mummy. So stunning and brave, a uh, good decision to go right after the mummy. Uh, obviously, what else are going to target the two mummies that is giving the undead the strength advantage if they can. Use utilize the tree as we see another two die block coming. Um, make use of the tree. That's their their only uh, real shot at, at really taking down uh, some of the undead's big guys. Um, if they can get that kind of production like they got last game, um, we should have a, a pretty competitive match. Um, Otherwise, you know, it's undead to have the strength advantage. Um, obviously, the Wood Elves have the speed advantage. And basically, when whenever you have these two type of teams match up, it's whoever um, can dominate the pace. As we get uh, Wood Elves uh, getting a ton of blocks in due to the undead's uh, setup there. So they're coming out swinging. And, you know, making the undead pay like that. Um, yeah, you don't, you don't want to get your, your, I don't know. Uh, if you're not on uh, offense, do not. I wouldn't put my big guys on the line. I know a lot of people do. As we have a ball pickup, ball pickup is good in the backfield. And... <laughs> Already declaring a pass. That's Dead Eye Dan shoveling it off to uh, which looks like Silver Fox Weasel, one of his favorite targets. Um, and he's going to try to, you know, maximize some SPP off that. So, um, and what else are going to move into the white out there and try to flush the undead? Onto one side, and we'll see how that works. Uh, you did get one SPP out of that turn, and you did stun a mummy, so that's pretty good production. But you did waste a reroll to do so. Your only reroll, so it's you know, <clears throat> that's, we'll see if that if that comes back and bites the wood elves. All right, let's see how the undead respond. So, undead turn one. Looks like they they want to kind of set up a, a zone, anticipating uh, the wood elf speed. I mean, where the ball's at, he, he can't score. So, you know, they... They're going to try and push it. And, and uh, from the undead's perspective, it's going to be tough to get a blitz on that ball. A lot of wood elves you want to go through. But there are a lot of wood elves in tackle zone. So uh, we'll see if they take advantage of that. Is that a mummy blitz on the tree? Looks like 
No, they're just going to um, stick the tree. I don't know if I like that move because, you know, obviously, look at that. Wood else turn. They immediately start. That mummy just, or that <laughs> treeman took root. But no matter, it gets a two die block on a zombie. And is that a knockout? I believe that's an, a KO. That's going to be a KO. And so Wood Elves um, coming out as the aggressor here. So interesting. Interesting. Wood Elves can hit hard. Um, they are one of those elf teams that can surprisingly hit hard. But uh, against the undead team, if you're going to make this a brawl match, I would think that would uh, play in the undead's favor. Uh, you know, but uh, we'll see. I mean, they're going right after them. If they're not um, shying away from the fight. They're not using their, you know, elf agility to dodge away. Um, and that's kind of a... Yeah, it's an interesting strategy. If you got a two-die block, uh, is that push-push? Or is that a knockdown? It is a knockdown. Uh, not enough to punch armor, but okay. They are not, uh, they're not hesitating to get into the fight. Look at that. They're going right into the zone and run a, a reverse. We've got a double rush. Um, okay. Interesting move. You're going to want to somehow protect that ball. Can he do it? I mean, I think that would be the priority. But it looks like they're going after blocks, and they're going to leave the ball carrier open. Um, and so you're basically, depending on the block dodge, uh, saving your, uh, your guy from the blitz. It, it did work uh, against this game, and we'll see with a better uh, bashier team like the undead will it work against them i don't know it is a it's a huge gamble it's basically hey you're gonna get the blitz i know you're gonna blitz my ball but i trust in uh my war dancer stats here we go so he's getting marked where's the blitz gonna come from i don't know if i like that angle if that's gonna be the blitz uh i believe that's a white Doing the blitz? Nope. They're just going to mark him. Is that going to be a blitz? I think he's trying to set up a three die. But can only get a two die. So two die uh, blitz. Better angle. Yeah, it's good to push him back. Didn't get the roll. Um, it's a tough decision. Do you want to re-roll that? Or not? He's now asking... Uh, is there a, any of those dice results that would knock them down? And uh, the answer is a, a no, <laughs> sadly. So it's a big decision. Do you do you go with uh, do you go with the reroll? And it looks like they're going to move on and trust that you know he's in enough tackle zones to make it difficult. Now he does have leap, so that's. You know, going to make it, um, what, a three up and then a two up dodge if he goes into the open square. We'll see how he plays it. So we got another two successful two die block there. So the undead starting to punch back. Um, but again, they're caught flat footed with the uh, reverse move of the wood elves. Um, so interesting strategy. You you run into the wide out and try to flush the your opponent going one way, and then use your superior speed to run diagonal, diagonal the other direction. And it looks like the undead are, even though they got a hit, it was just a push, and. 
now they're just looking for, uh, well, basically to make up the numbers advantage. If you're a bashy team, you do want to take your time and take advantage of all the blocks. Don't get super obsessed by the ball. I mean, if he's going to score, he's going to score, right? Um, but what you want to do right now is um, assure that as many got you get as many hits as possible. Try to maximize your hits. Um, you're down a guy, so you're, you know, if you're the undead, you are, you're down a guy, and, you know, you're, it looks like your opponent uh, could potentially score. So that's going to be, you know, a tough um, situation. You'll be down 0 1. So basically, if you're playing the long game, you want to hurt them. And by the time you get the ball, it'll be a slow grind. You go into the half tied. And then you're getting the ball next turn. That's typically how you're going to um, win in this situation. So we'll see. Uh, all right. So it looks like it's uh, Wood Elves now looking to free up. I mean, you could go with a blitz somewhere, but he's going with Leap. Uh, so that's gonna, uh, he's gonna. He got it with a five. So, and now it's a two die to freedom, and we got ourselves a touchdown. So that is basically the how uh, the Woodhouse played it against the Skaven. Right? We saw that last turn or last uh, last week's game. So Silver Fox Weasel. That's I don't know. Maybe three, his third touchdown in two games. The guy is going to have a hell of a season. And we go straight into the kickoff. And we are going to get a quick snap. So the undead can, you know, basically move up. Get a little bit of better positioning. And get some blocks in. So here's where you... So you're, we're the undead now, looking at it from their position, being down, um, you know, nil one. It's not, it's not the worst thing in the world. But he, did he just fail to catch the ball? He failed to catch that ball. Is it going to be a turnover? That is going to be a turnover. Oh, I see. No, it's not a turnover. Sorry, my bad. That was just um, a free attempt at the ball. Missed, and now we're going into their turn. So, starting with the big guy, uh, Mummy, getting a punch in. Activates the other Mummy. Two-die block. You know, this is where they should start to shine. Get those Mummies in the game. Get them smacking uh, low-armored elves. And then we got a two-die uh, block. So, undead maximizing their punching abilities just not getting the rolls not getting the rolls against these guys so i'm seeing a lot of pushes but we do have an injury so there we go undead uh zombie with a casualty iron maiden uh good play so now you've got uh one of the widows badly hurt and so now the, the numbers are even up. So that's basically uh, just good blood bowl there. Just stay calm. Don't worry about it. Go in and just smack some dudes around. The game will open itself up to you. I, if you're a new player and you're wondering how to deal with an aggressive agility opponent, who oh, got a nice block, so he's going to pin them on the sideline. Good move by the undead. Um, if you're wondering how to deal with a situation like this where you have an aggressive wood elf player that's just going to, you know, chuck the ball and, 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 you know, basically try to score every, every turn, um, you want to slow down the pace. And this is, it looks like what they're doing. And so far, um, they're doing a successful job. Now, which, what he wants to do now you probably want to secure that ball. You got all your punches in. So we got a 
Did he drop it? He can't figure out <laughs> where the uh, magnetized reroll marker would go. But um, he, he, I think he used a reroll right there to pick up that ball. And then look at that. We're going to cage up. And you want a cage. You want to see how the elves are going to deal with the cage. Now, the, the thing about wood elves is they do have a pretty good answer with the war dancers to cage. You know, you do have this like nice little area here where it's all the ball is basically screened off. Um, so we'll see. So wood elves start their turn with a two die block and knock down a guy. Oh, busted his armor. And that's an injury. So, holy schmoly, Wood Elves saying, you know what, I'm dead. We could hit two. So, Glalak, lineman, putting in work, making those undead hurt so much. Um, I wonder if he remembers that he has regen. I don't know. Is he going to roll it? Don't think he's gonna roll it. <laughs> Might have forgot, or maybe he'll wait till uh, the end of the drive. Who knows? Who knows? I would roll it right away before you. I, you know, you forget. You don't want to just let that uh, go. So we got a KO. He KO'd uh, the zombie. So freaking what else? Like that tree. Man, he is having a hell of a season, let me tell you. Okay, now you're not getting any SBP for that knockout, but that is the second mummy uh, that tree is knocked out in this game alone. So um, it sucks you don't get any SBP for that, but it's great uh, because it just takes that uh, that punching power off the board. And it is amazing to watch... Uh, you know, a team like the Widows, a lot of people just look at them as, you know, these um, kind of low-armored glass cannon types. Um, seeing them take it right to the undead is, uh, I guess I'm pretty surprised uh, by this. And um, it's actually, I mean, they've got a numbers advantage. I mean, who would have thought? Um, and, you know, a lot of Bashy players don't know exactly how to respond when they're down uh, players like that. So that is something that uh, we'll, we'll see how the undead respond to that. But, wow, what this is pretty cool because, like, you know, I'm watching this. I'm, you know, I, I'm not part of this game, so it's just it's nice to sit back and, and just be a backseat. Uh, you know, armchair quarterback. As he ended, try to figure. They got to grind their way up. Listen, you don't need to rush this. I wouldn't even think about moving that ball until you get more punches in. You know, the the what you should be doing is marking. Now it is tough because for some reason the wood elves are like breaking your armor and they're punching your face. But you got to stick with that strategy, I think. And um. Not try to force that ball up because what you what you end up doing is those wood elves they see that ball they're salivating they're like okay they're gonna figure out a way to pop that thing loose they've got the personnel to do it and when uh, and when you bunch up like that uh, all it takes is a couple of lucky die rolls man a leap off a of blitz. A one die block, and who knows, even if it's two uphill, like, who cares? <laughs> you got the lead, why not? Right? Um, we'll see, though. The undead, uh, you know, pushing the ball past the line of scrimmage, so um, they they are going to stick with the ground game, and we'll see how the widows respond. Be, uh, there's, there's lots of opportunities block here, so... You know, if you got the numbers advantage, why not keep on doing it? The tree is involved. He is in a pretty good spot, but it looks like 
they're going, they're opening with a blitz. Two dot blitz. Um, they're going to knock down a guy. And are they going to mark the ball? That's the question. It looks like he didn't follow up. And so he's not. Uh, he's not going to mark it. Um, interesting. So they just kind of set up the zone around the guy. Um, okay. It's an interesting block puzzle we got here. Um, but I would be looking at how to get that tree involved. You want that tree over there. Is he activating the tree? He is. The tree's going to move. Is that his blitz? Yeah, tree blitz. Look at that. Two die blitz on the tree. And then the tree. Ooh. Busting armor. Oof. And you got the tree marking the ball. So that is uh that is good stuff. You know, look at our situation here. We've got the wood elves. Are they trying to sneak another guy in? Yeah, I think they, they did. They snuck uh, another guy in to put yet another tackle zone on the ball. So this cage is pretty much busted. Um, so you're going to have to, like, I mean, Undead, you do, uh, you can, you have the ability to block your way out. Tree's going to be a problem uh, since you don't have any mummies. And so you're going to have to... You're probably going to have to throw some one die blocks first to set up a two die block. There we go. One die block. And he's, we're going to consider where where to position that guy. So this is one of those instances where, you, you know, if you're new to Blood Bowl, take a look at this, uh, this setup here. As the guy stays at home, he doesn't follow up. You don't need to follow up on every block. And this is one of those good examples where you don't because if you do, um, you know, you lose your assist. So now that staying at home sets up an assist on the second block. So you got a two die block. And I think he is seeing, just checking his player to make sure he does have blocks. So both players in that case have blocks. So that cancels each other out. So that cage is effectively stuck. Basically, you need a push, at least a push in that situation to uh, set up the rest of your your chain blocking. And it's almost, it's kind of like a, it's interesting to watch because it's like a um, the art of the uh, block used in a real life example. As we got a two die block on the side, so he's probably going to, uh, start on the outside now and work his way in to see if he can uh, clear enough space. But I just don't think where he's at, he can block the tree out. So he's going to at least have to dodge away from the tree. There's the dodge. Fails the dodge. And he fails the using the dodge skill. And down goes the ball carrier. So that's... Uh, tough break for the uh, the undead as the ball's going to scatter. It's going to scatter right to the tree. Uh, tree's not going to pick it up. That would be, would have been awesome if that happened, but no tree pickup. Uh, so balls. Uh, so we're entering Widow's turn. The ball is basically on the line of scrimmage, and you have the agility and the return game to to really um, turn this game into, you know, uh, almost an impossible task for the, the undead. If you go 2-0, right, as we get a block by the tree. Tree clearing a uh, tackle zone from the ball, so good strategy. And we got our ball pickup, and it's good on a 2. And... War Dancer with the ball fails the rush. Fails that rush roll. He's looking to see if he's got sure feet. No sure feet on that guy. Down he goes. Ball's going to scatter yet again. So um, quick trade of possession. The ball is deeper in the red zone. 
So that does effectively, if you think about it in a defensive sense, um, slow down the undead as they uh, rush to pick it up. Ghoul with the pickup. Got enough spaces to move it a little bit up. And he's got one guy assisting. You, you're you going to need some help there. I don't know if that's a, a dodge. Oh, that was a block. You got two die, two die block. Are they discussing? Was it not a favorable roll? <laughs> I think they are. I don't know why I didn't edit that out, but that's a, that's a, I guess that was a boat down. <laughs> Bad news is we got yet another, uh, quick turn. So a series of quick turns there, um, favoring basically uh, the Wood Elves. Undead are lucky to have that ball. They're lucky to have that ball. I think the Wood Elves got a little greedy. A little greedy there with that rush. You had no re-rolls. You should have uh, maybe, you know, dodged out a couple guys to protect that ball. You don't have to score that much. You just have to threaten. But it looks like he is setting up a blitz. On that ball. So guys, you know, it's, it, it, you got to like running off with the ball kind of favors the wood else there. If you're not going to protect, there we go. That's a double or it's a rush blitz for a two die. Oh, pops armor. And that's a nine. That's a KO. Down goes one of his ball carriers. And that. That's a big trade-off. Um, good defensive play by the uh, Wood Elves there. And again, stretching out the the defense. I mean, Undead tried to stretch it out as possible, but you just can't run away from these guys. Not fast enough as we got another two-die block. Wood Elves now feeling it. They are feeling it. And we got them marking uh, a ghoul. Dodge roll is good. And it looks like they are trapping any potential uh, ball carriers on the undead side. They're going to leave the ball uh, there, basically daring the uh, undead to try and pick it up. I mean, you are up... Uh, one nil, so you know you don't have to score. The undead have to run towards that ball, and you can see how far most of their players are from the ball. So uh, it's going to be tough. The you know you got the lone ghoul there. If he doesn't dodge out, he is going to be uh, he's going to have multiple blocks on him, and then you know it's a a two die pickup for that wood elf to uh, score. So that, that's bad news. So undead trying their best here to get something going. And a uh, one die block uses a burns up reroll. And gets the roll he needs. So downs that player. Uh, I believe at this point he is uh, out of rerolls, so he had nothing. He basically had no way of 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 making a play on that ball. So basically, you know, unless uh, one of the wood elves, if he rolls, it's a one in thirty six chance. He starts with a two die block, knocks on that ghoul, uh, doesn't pop armor. But he is free now to run in. And he will score. So this time we got the other war dancer. Uh, four is good for the pickup. Does he have the MA? He's going to need a rush. Two is good for the rush. And we got ourselves a second touchdown by the undead. 
Um, sorry, by the wood elves. <laughs> and that's going to be Twinkle Toes. Twinkle Toes, the war dancer. How's that guy? Uh, you know, how's that name for a Blood Bowl player? You get uh, scored on by Twinkle Toes. And as we got uh, Bloodweiser Babe kicking in there. Uh, so a couple of undead guys uh, back in the game. Uh, they have a single turn, so, you know, um, they're not set up for a one-time, a one-turn touchdown. I know more advanced Blood Bowl players could could probably pull it off. Um, Undead are just going to um, play it safe and just try to get as many guys as possible. But the kickoff result was perfect defense, so <laughs> Wood Elves are going to get the hell out of Dodge. Making it worse for the undead. He should have pulled that guy back. I don't know why. Just leave him open for the blitz. I mean, just give him three hits and that's it. You should have had everyone back. But again, I have the ability to just sit here and uh, pretend that I know what I'm doing. I think he's trying to set up a three die block. Really making him pay. <laughs> for leaving that guy within striking distance. Yeah, so you roll that perfect defense, kids. You want to put your all your guys basically on the end zone. You know, if you're a Wood Elf team. Your guys are far too expensive to leave them um, to get smashed in the face. Um, but seeing as we're not going to get a, a score here, I'm going to take the time to thank you for watching this video. And it's a little bit long. And don't forget to hit... Uh, the thumbs up button if you like the video, uh, hit subscribe if you're not subscribed, uh, hit the notification so that if you are subscribed, you will get notified when new videos are in the hopper. So, um, as we uh, close this one out, Undead looking to get as uh, the most out of the splits as possible. Uh, we'll see if anything. Uh, happens maybe they get a, a late you know knockout or casualty um anything to come to at least go back to the locker rooms and say yeah you're down 2-0 but we you know we've 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 got the the number advantage back um and i believe that was Was that a knockout? I believe that was a knockout. All right. So great job, Undead. And we'll see you guys on the next one.